cold, rainy day like this, it's good to sit inside and meditate. Because as soon as your thoughts go outside, they run into the rain, they run into the cold. That's one of the reasons why the Buddha has you do some contemplation before you sit down and try to do concentration practice. Think about all the things that could be pulling your attention outside. and. Remember that they're all inconstant, it's all stressful, they're all not self. No, in other words, there's nothing that you could really find any true happiness in. When you think about that, that's like putting a protective wall around you and also remind you that it is cold and wet out there. There's no reason to go outside. You've got a nice place right here. Because as, as soon as your thoughts go wandering away from the breath, you run into things that are going to disappoint you. So why bother? It's good to have that thought in the back of your mind. Otherwise, you're staying here with the breath and you're thinking, well, as soon as I leave the breath then I can go someplace that's really interesting. And the mind is going to start leaking out even before this session is over. But if you can keep reminding yourself, there's really nothing out there that you need right now, nothing out there that you really want to get involved with. You're looking for a happiness that's more reliable than that, a happiness that's more stable than that. This is why it's good to do a little contemplation at the beginning. This is why we have the chanting before the meditation in the evening, thinking about aging, illness, and death, thinking about how the world is swept away. That's to put you in the right mood to turn your attention inside so you're not, you don't feel so tempted to go outside all the time. And that makes it a lot easier for the mind to settle down and be with the breath. Because you know you've got a good place right here, you can make the breath comfortable, give rise to a sense of well-being right here. And why do you need to go to create trouble for yourself to make all the effort to go searching for happiness in places that don't have any happiness to offer? Or well, whatever happiness they do have, whatever pleasure they do have is very short term. So it's useful to contemplate this way. It's like having the memory, okay, it's raining outside, it's wet and cold, you don't want to go out and you want to stay right in here inside. And it's the same with your concentration. That world out there is it's inconstant, it's always changing, it's always unreliable. There's a lot of stress in trying to find any happiness there. And even when you do find it, you can't hold on to it as your own. It goes its own way. So why bother looking for happiness there? Turn around, look here inside. The potential for true happiness is right here. It's just a matter of settling down and taking it seriously. That's one of the ways you can keep your attention and your awareness and your thoughts all focused right here.